It's easy to feel anxious about the state of the world. Just turn on the TV or read the paper. The worst storm in decades. All we see is chaos. Earthquakes, floods, wars, riots, crime. Events we can't control that make us feel helpless. We're left feeling unsafe, even in our own homes. The world, it seems, is not only dangerous, but getting more and more so every day. But there's something important to know about all this. Excuse me. I think you dropped this. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. The environment is actually not as dangerous as it can sometimes appear to be. The cold hard fact is that there are certain people whose purpose it is to make the environment seem as threatening and dangerous as possible. This isn't a crime rate, it's a crime epidemic. They make their living by creating chaos and upset. Women and children are no longer safe to walk in the street. Their incomes and power rise in direct ratio to the amount of threat they can inject into the surroundings. I have elected, I will do something about the crime. For example, we are constantly barraged with bad news in the media. Authorities say they are heightening global security measures at all points of entry. Due to they not only report the most threatening bits of news. This is causing hours of delay at all major airports and ground transportation. But also sensationalize it, making it worse than it is. Thousands of people could die due to a mysterious virus currently found only in mice. The mouse flu is currently spreading faster than... You see a frightening headline. Daddy, who's gonna die? I don't know, sweetie. You want to know why and who. So you tune into that news story or buy that newspaper. This is what Senator Gravitt had to say. I tell you if I am elected, I will make it mandatory that everybody is vaccinated. Unfortunately for the rest of us, these people make their living off of fear and confusion. I'd like to make a donation to the campaign fund. They are sellers of conflict, merchants of chaos, but it isn't just the politicians and the media that caused the problem. In Scientology, it was discovered that as many as one in four people spend their whole lives keeping those around them feeling worried and overwhelmed. In this economy, if you plan on keeping your jobs, you better be willing to do whatever it takes. All right, that's it. They cause others to have a distorted idea of how threatening the world is. The problem is, our health and our sanity, our level of activity, and even our ambition, are all affected by how dangerous we perceive the environment to be. In other words, the more overwhelming the environment seems to you, the more powerless you'll feel and the less efficient you'll be at handling life. A person in a situation which seems overwhelming will tend to do nothing about it. But in fact, when trying to handle any overwhelming situation, you can always find something about that situation that you can confront or comfortably face doing. In Scientology, you'll learn several specific things you can do to lessen the threat and increase your command over your environment. For example, if you were to simply take a walk and actually inspect the environment around you, you could perceive for yourself that it's not as dangerous as it's being made to seem. Once people are less threatened by the environment, they tend to resurge. They think they can do more about life, reach outward a little further, and can even become a calming influence upon their immediate environment. You see, a person is as successful as he is able to adjust the environment to him, not the other way around. The world of threats and danger is an imaginary one, created with lies. Behind it, there exists the real world, a calmer environment, a place in which man can live and feel better, where there are such things as good neighbors and good spouses, reliable friends, and everyday heroes. A world where people live calmer and happier lives.